428. The following concentrations are found in mixtures of ions in equilibrium with slightly soluble solids. From the concentrations given, just calculate the KSP for each of the slightly soluble solids indicated. And then we have lead 2 fluoride, which is PBF2. They did tell us that the lead concentration, the PB2 plus, is 2.1 times 10 to the negative third molarity. And the fluoride ion concentration, the F minus, is 4.2 times 10 to the negative third molarity. Okay. So from these values, we just have to calculate the KSP. Now a KSP, the solubility product, has to be found from a balanced equation. So with all KSPs, you're always going to take your slightly soluble solid, it's a solid, and we're going to dissolve it into its two ions. And look, they told us what the ions are. Remember, ions are just the charge, um, you know, elements, or polyatomics, but elements in this case. So we have PBF2, that's going to start off as a solid. This comes to equilibrium, because we're dealing with the K value, into Pb2+, plus, that's this ion, and then the F-. minus. Since they're ions, they're aqueous, and I just am looking at the uh, equation right now. We have to balance it. There's two fluorines, so I just have to put a 2 in front of that, and now it looks like we're balanced. So from this equation, we can now write our specific KSP equation, right? Now, before we do that, let's just write out the numbers that they give us, right? PB2 plus, they told us, was 2.1 times 10 to the negative third molarity. So this is 2.1 times 10 to the negative third molarity. And then the fluoride ion, since they told us this is all we got, that's the number that I'm going to use, 4.2 times 10 to the negative third. You do not times this number by two, because there's a two in there. Whatever they tell you that the concentration you have, that's all you got. So you got to work with that. Now let's write the general formula, right? It just equals to the concentration of the products. There's two of them raised to their coefficients. So I have KSP equals the concentration of PB two plus times the concentration of the fluoride ion F minus but just make sure that we're raising it to the coefficients. There was nothing in front of the PB, right? That means that there was one. So I can raise this to the first, but I don't have to. But for the fluoride, there was a two here. So I do have to raise it to the second. So the PB value is going to be exactly what they told us, 2.1 times 10 to the negative third. And then the F minus is exactly what they told us, 4.2 times 10 to the negative third. Okay. Now let's just plug in and solve. KSP equals the two things. We got 2.1 times 10 to the negative third. And then we have 4.2 times 10 to the negative third. And that has to be squared. You could plug this all into the calculator in one shot, or you could do it in sections, whichever one you feel more comfortable with. I'm just going to plug it into one shot. Let's see if we get the same answer. So let's see, just square that and times it by 2.1 times 10 to the negative third, right? Just making sure that I plugged in all the correct numbers and we get 3.7, 3.7 times 10 to the negative eighth. No units for KSP and that's the end for this one. What do you think? Thank you so much for viewing the video. Let me know how it goes. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends. Tell your classmates about this cool YouTube channel. I think it's pretty cool. What do you think? Love helping you guys out. I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.